Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. So we had an idea. Uh, a few weeks ago, we had got a challenge comment that someone challenged us to try Meatless Monday, and we did it, and it turned out great. So we want to know what you want to see us make. So if you have a favorite recipe, a family recipe, or maybe just an idea of something you want to see us make that you've never tried before, let us know in the comments below, or you can send me an email or find me on Instagram. Those are both in my description box. So send us your recipes, and we're going to try to pick one every week to include in the next week's What's for Dinner list. So make sure you leave a comment below, and let's get to this week's What's for Dinner. Barbecue chicken, green beans, and more beans. Mmm, now that's what's for dinner. <laughs> okay, seriously, this meal was super easy and super delicious. This was barbecue chicken baked in the oven with garlic soy green beans and cheesy pork and beans. We butterflied two chicken breasts and seasoned them with salt and pepper and Adam's favorite seasoning mix and put them on a baking sheet lined with foil and olive oil. We put these in a 375 degree oven for about 45 minutes. And for the beans, we have a can of pork and beans. Some seasoned salt. Worcestershire. Yellow mustard. Ketchup. Velveeta cheese. And brown sugar. So I'm just adding in all of the ingredients for the beans while Adam's making his barbecue sauce. This is the same sauce he makes for all of his barbecue stuff and it's been in our videos before so you can go check that out if you want. But if you don't want to make your own, you could totally use a bottle of sauce. We also forgot to get bell peppers so we added in some sriracha to the beans to give them that pepper flavor. So for the green beans, we just use frozen green beans and add in some butter, soy sauce, minced garlic, and salt and pepper. Once the chicken had about 15 minutes left, Adam would pull it out about every five minutes and baste it with the barbecue sauce. This dinner was so delicious, so simple, and makes a great weeknight meal. So for meal number two, we have steak fingers and gravy with corn on the cob and mashed potatoes. While we have the potatoes and the corn boiling, Adam is rolling some croissant dough into little bread braids. Then he brushed the top of those with some melted butter, garlic, parsley, and Parmesan cheese and baked them according to the package directions. So the steak has been marinating in Adam's seasoning mixture. You can use whatever dry rub you like. And for the breading, we have an egg wash and a flour mixture seasoned with cayenne pepper, paprika, 
onion powder and garlic powder, seasoned salt, parsley, and salt and pepper. And the corn on the cob, we just topped off with some melted butter and parsley. For the next meal, we made chicken parm pockets with corn on the cob and Parmesan couscous. For the Parmesan sauce, we used some seasoned salt, basil leaves, oregano, onion powder, and tomato sauce. We boiled some chicken and shredded it up and then mixed it up in that Parmesan sauce. Then we used a paste made of flour and water on some corn tortillas to seal the chicken inside. Then we just fried these up on both sides until they were golden brown and topped them off with some Parmesan cheese. Then we serve these up with some corn on the cob and couscous mixed with Parmesan cheese and parsley. The next night we had a curry pork casserole with artichokes. We started by sauteing some mushrooms in butter, salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and seasoned salt. Then we added in a can of evaporated milk, some paprika, and some curry powder. Then this all went into the blender to make a mushroom sauce that was sort of like a homemade cream of mushroom soup. Next we started on the artichokes, we just cut off the tops and the stems and stick these in a pot with about 2 inches of water to boil for about 45 minutes.
Here we're just searing the pork in some melted butter. So in the bottom of a baking dish, we poured a little bit of that mushroom sauce. Then we added in a cup of jasmine rice. Then we layered the pork on top. Then came the shredded Fiesta Blend Cheese, which doesn't sound like a good combination, but it was delicious. Followed by the remainder of the mushroom sauce and some more cheese. We also added some crumbled cooked bacon on top. And the sauce for the artichokes is super simple. It's just some melted butter, lemon juice, and minced garlic. Once the casserole was almost done, he added some shredded Parmesan cheese to the top to melt. My boys have always loved artichokes. They try to eat them all. And the last meal I'm gonna share is a artichoke and bacon pizza with pesto sauce. And I didn't get any clips of Adam making this because honestly, I tried to get the boys to take a nap and ended up taking one myself. But this was super delicious with the saved artichoke hearts from the night before. And if you wanna see how Adam makes the stuffed crust pizza crust, that was in last week's What's For Dinner video and I'll link that video down below. This was so good and we've made it before and it has to be one of my favorite pizzas of all time. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment with your favorite recipe or a meal suggestion or whatever you like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe down below and hit that notification bell. We make what's for dinner videos every Sunday.